Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. Just uh, finally tapping a, a glass of my first all grain dunkel. Wow, that's very good. Very good. <clears throat> Get more of a, I guess, straw, strawy, strawish flavor or grainy or whatever you want to call it. Tastes more like straw than grain, but <sighs> very good. Made a lot some mistakes and maybe a lot of mistakes, I don't know, but hopefully you can learn from them. But uh, a couple of things I did do a, a double back to batch com back to back comparison batch. Basically I did a partial and a full or all grain. I did a partial and an all grain attempt at a Hefe recipe that I found. So I did one with all grain and then I did one with uh, some LME and DME and some specialty grains. So same hop additions and everything like that. Same yeast and all that. So so I did that experiment. Um, the partial went great. Um, and the all grain <sighs> the all grain was a bitch. Um, I had um, issues with temperatures for the mash. Um, last time I last time I sparge water was 170 and it stayed at 168. Um, but uh, so this time I didn't. You know, I lowered it down a little bit so that I'd get closer to the 155 and uh, or 152, 152, 155, and um, well, it dropped down to like 140. So then I ran out of sparge water. So I'm sitting here going, okay, what the hell do I do now? Um, I've seen stuff online about decoction mashing. I've never done that, and I didn't want to attempt that. So I just took some of my um, I just drained out some of my my water and put it back in the kettle, heated that back up, and I did that twice to get it back up to temp, and then ran it out for an hour, and then uh, then I did sparge with my I tried three different versions of the sparge arm um, based on some suggestions, and I'll show you show you the the contraption I came up with. This is the little contraption I built. This is my probably my fourth. No, third, third contraption. I tried uh, tried to do a couple of the suggestions. I did make something with a little barrel that came down with some holes put in it. Um, I did try doing the bazooka tube that I actually have right there. I tried doing that. Um, let's see what else did I do. I tried doing an X pattern and all that stuff and. This is what I came up with. Um, I tested it out with just plain whatever. So well, I guess we'll give her give her a test run here. So, so that's what I came up with. I did try other methods, but um, that's what I'm using for right now. Um, I also have a couple other homemade projects that I did. I did put together my um, homemade stir plate off of a, um, a video from Jake CPU Nut. So uh, you can check out uh, that right now. So that's about the cyclone that I can get. They didn't have uh, the four inch fan so I just had to get a three inch. That's the only thing they had in DC. So um, for now we'll see how it works here. I'm just going to drop pretzel in there. So you can see if you're dropping the pretzel in there it's the it's getting some good stirring action. So I think it's doing the trick. What do you think? And then uh, one other little I guess homemade project that I, I was working on is um, just something to kind of help flush out uh, my kegs. 
um, after I'm done using them. So I found something online, um, looked really easy to make, so I went ahead and just bought uh, the parts and made that. Um, just hook it up to the faucet and flush out the tubes and everything. So um, it works pretty well. But, uh, but yeah, you can check out the video on that and see what I, what I made for that too. So I've seen these online. You hook them up, and you got an end that goes to your faucet. So I just bought a couple fittings to get it onto my line. Bought a T-splitter, one of each fitting. And then I found these cool nifty little things at uh, Menards. So you put one end on your faucet, and then I can put one end on a couple of my uh, things that I plug it in out. So it just goes like so. Pretty nifty. So I just turn on the, the water. Goes in there. And it cleans out my. At least runs the water through my lines to flush them out. All right. So then, uh, I guess the last thing is, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the the video by Steve Forty Five CA. I know Craig Tube had something on last week, and I know uh, Jake and Dar did a, a beer review on or a wine cooler review of uh, of Steve Forty Five CA's um, concoction. So uh, uh, two two and a half three weeks ago now. I decided to do my own batch. Hey everyone, happy homebrew Wednesday. Um, today I will be fermenting water. And I'm gonna add about, I got two gallons of water in this. I got this at Walmart for like, I don't know, a couple bucks. So I'm like, this will make a nice little fermenter. And uh, punched a hole in it and put my little airlock in the top. So we'll give it a try, my water fermenter. So we're probably not gonna see this here. Basically came in at about a 1.046 maybe. So hopefully around 5%. Alright, so that's basically what I did. Um, I used some of the stuff I had lying around instead of going out and buying new stuff. So um, the problem I had was that I had a stalled fermentation. So then uh, the ale yeast that I used, I ended up running and grabbing another one, so then uh, pitched another one on top of that. And uh, It's a little colder down here, and it's hard to focus with this camera, but I'm at about a 66, 68. You can see I... So I got a little bit of fermentation going. I got some raisins, actually a lot of raisins, but just trying to keep it going. So last time I checked, the gravity was still at a 1.044. So repitched, and we'll check it again in about a week. Hopefully, it came down. All right, all right. So the last thing I got is um, a couple weeks ago I posted stuff about the. Uh, uh, the hop collection that I had. Let's see. So I got uh, a couple recipes. Uh, I did buy the grains to do a WPA or a Warrior Pale Ale. So uh, that'll be one of my next batches of all grain, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, let's see. I also picked up some stuff, um, the grains and hops, to do a homemade summer shandy. And for those of you that don't know what it is, uh, Line and Kugel Brewing Company in Wisconsin here. And it's basically beer with natural lemonade flavor. And uh, it may sound a little gross to you. And uh, the first time I tried it, I thought it was disgusting. But um, it's kind of grown on me. It's a, it's a vice beer with lemonade. And uh, it's awesome in summer. I can only drink so much Corona in summer. And um, this is really nice when you're out on the boat on a nice hot day. So I'm going to try making some. Um, basically, it pretty easy grain bill. Basically it calls for, I think it was four unsweetened lemonade Kool-Aid packets. So I'll give that a try for summer as well. So anyways, um, that's all for me. My kettle to yours. Prost and good brewing. Ah, good stuff. Mm -hmm.